I'm not allowed to touch the inbox anymore. Not because this is the last episode. I mean, it's kind of the last episode. I'll explain in a minute. But I'm not allowed in anymore because apparently I kept clicking on everything <laughs> and then the producers were missing the submissions. So I'm not allowed in there anymore, but I am allowed in the comments. Wait, first, I know, you're like, Bose, how is this the last episode? We just got started. You told me this was gonna happen. Every Friday, we had a schedule. We had a plan. Relax, I'm just changing the name of the show, okay? The Friday Inbox still exists as the thing that you send your submissions to, but the name of it is changing a little bit. Oh, uh, we'll explain more later. For now, listen, let's just get on with the show. We have our first audience game segment. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Videos where the comment section is funnier than the actual video will now just be Ask the Audience. And we actually have our very first Ask the Audience that was from an email submission. I love Hamilton. I did not know that Lin-Manuel Miranda's like old demos before Hamilton became Hamilton <laughs> were released. And it wasn't even a situation where I had to think like, is this AI? Like, oh no, it's Lin. It's definitely Lin. The video is two minutes long. We'll link it, but let me just give you the highlights. When Miss Maria Reynolds walked into my life, she said, I know you are a man of honor. I'm so sorry to bother you at home, but I don't know where to go. And I came here all alone. She said, my husband's doing me wrong. Beating me, cheating me, mistreating me. Suddenly he up and go. God, I'm imagining that he was in the closet with like a t-shirt like over his head to keep the sound in. That's when I began to pray, Lord, show me how to say no to this. I don't know how to say no to this. Cause my God, she looks so helpless. What? screaming, hell yeah. <laughs> Let's see what the audience has to say. Okay, Hamilton really was a trust the process project, I see. <laughs> Why is he singing like he's afraid to wake his parents up? Bro, that's so true. He had the soul, but he was quiet too. My husband's doing me wrong. <laughs> Actual footage of me performing a one-man Hamilton production in my room. Look, I find this to be relatable. He sounds so hungry. <laughs> what does that mean? You guys get to submit. And you know what? Sometimes I want to submit. Or like, I want to show you guys funny stuff that I've seen this week. I made a special request to the producers. I was like, dude, I need you guys to put in people playing pranks on their dads, particularly automotive planks. I think it's the funniest thing in the world. Uh, your dumb daughter needs to talk to you for a second. Which one of them? <laughs> Here she is. Hey, Dad. Hello. Hey. It's, hey. I have a quick car question. Yeah. So on TikTok, everybody was talking about how... I know where this is going to go, but also I don't know what happens if you put diesel in a regular car. On TikTok, everybody was talking about how uh, some of the gas stations have green gas pumps for Christmas. <laughs> like a... You did not. You did not. Oh, she did. Dude, that was good from the mom. That sounded convincing. Oh, she did. Yes. That's just about plum stupid. So what do I do? How much did you put in there? Uh, like half a tank. <laughs> Them doing the lean forward in sync because they know he's losing his mind right now is hilarious. Uh, I need to get off. TikTok is what you need to do. The f You're making her cry. I, 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 uh, Dude, well, I wasn't kidding about that. Mom is too good at this. She's so convincing. Christmas pumps. <laughs> God dang. Uh, you are got to be kidding me, right? Dude, this is also so funny to me because, like, some dads, like, they're always just chilling. They don't give you a whole lot of emotion. They don't give you a whole lot, of, you know, but when dad gets mad, he gets mad. The most emotion you're probably going to get out of a dad is if you mess something up with your car. So this is just, this is just way too funny to me. Dad, <laughs> it's a prank. <laughs> but you were excellent. I could not believe you thought I would do that. Mom was too good. <laughs> The Oscar goes to mom. It was just low tire pressure. You sure? Yeah, I took it to the guy over here. So the guy was like, oh, like, I'll do it for you. I'll do it for you. He was so nice. Okay. And he's like, oh, do you want me to do all four? Like, are all four low? So I was just like, oh, yeah. Like, Why not? He was like, I'll even give you a discount. 
So I was like, oh, perfect. And then he was like, if you pay cash, instead of using your card, he was like, if you just give me $100, like I won't charge you for all Type of it. $25. How much? <laughs> you said it was $75 for one tire, so I got all four for a hundred. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did I do? I don't know. What did I tell you? Did he not say it was $75 for a tire? 75 cents to put in the machine. <laughs> to get the I air machine. need to know from a dad's point of view, what is going through his mind when he hears this? He's like, have I, as a father, failed? How did this happen? Why did she think this? Discounted air. There is no machine up there. There is. I just I, got gas. It's no. right there. I she went didn't there. Go there. Why didn't you go there? Because I like this guy. He's nice He just charged you $100 for air. But he said premium air. I said $75. He said 100 What? For, he said he'll give me a discount. 100 for all four. He filled your air up in your tires. Please tell me you get your tank filled up. No. I didn't need you're gas. You're kidding me, right? I just got gas two days ago. Come on, you're f***ing with me. I, I gotta go up there. I gotta go up there. She's gonna tell the kid. Did you honestly charge my daughter $100 to put air in her tires today? And what? You say, it was premium air. <laughs> Dude, I, this is gonna make me cry from laughing. It's gonna make me cry. Hello, this is a collect call from Lake County Jail for inmate Angela David. Say yes if you would like to accept this call. Yes. Oh my Hello? God. You guys are too good. I cannot make it through a prank phone call without laughing. The AI voice, the hello, the crying, everything. Oscar. Oscar worthy. What the f Angela? What the f What the f did you do now? I did took a rap there. I took <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, Jessica, what did you do? Oh my god, Jessica. Oh my god, Jessica. No, no, no. Oh my god, I didn't mean to. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love a wholesome prank. I love it so much. I love it so, so, so much. If you guys don't know, if you're new here or if you don't watch the streams or anything, my personality is court jester. I am here to play little pranks at all time. Okay, that's like, that's it. Send me more pranks. <laughs> not the corny ones, not the obviously fake ones. This stuff, gold. Oh, my God. oh for God's sake! <laughs> it's a matter of you guys! That's brand new, it's like a week old! There's a basketball net out front! I'm freaking... Excuse me, I'm gonna cry. Are these half as funny to anyone else? I don't know why these are so funny to me. I didn't even have a dad. Are you taping this? This TikTok sh**? Why don't you guys read a book or something? <laughs> Sorry, Dad. These are too good. Do you guys know what a McMansion is? I just found out about this from Reddit. There's a subreddit that's called R McMansion Hell, where they basically show the most expensive, gaudy houses that they've ever seen. If you look it up, it says, a McMansion is a slang term that describes a large, often opulent or ostentatious mass-produced home. McMansions lack architectural uniqueness, class, or style. So basically, they're really, really ugly houses that rich people have. And I think that's hilarious. This one has been deemed a 51,000 square foot mansion in Utah. It's already not looking good. I feel like if I pulled up at this house, I would want to leave. <laughs> I just, I don't feel safe here looking at it. Oh my God, is this a church or a house? Makes me feel a little poor. Who lives here? Abraham Lincoln reincarnated? Oh my, God. I do want that. I do want that. Do I need it? No, but do I want it? Yes. Please God, tell me. Is this a Noah's Ark ball pit? That's all I need to know. I need to know if this was intended to be a Noah's Ark ball pit because that's what I'm getting. And this was the paradise after they made it off of the ark. Is it a McMansion? Sure, but I think this one's a little bit more of a lost cult house. Next. Ooh, this is enticing. This one says each picture gets progressively worse. Okay, this is not great, but not bad so far. Where are we? Oh, <laughs> what are these chairs? What are they? 
are these all TVs? Which one do I watch? What is the point of this? Is this a sports guy? Dude, the layout on this one is crazy. Hair salon? Rich, but ugly. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the love tub in the middle of the master suite. This chair set up in front of the TV. I don't know why this is so funny in somebody's bedroom. I imagine they sit down with a glass of champagne every night and they're like, oh, darling, look at the front yard. Like who watches TV like this? Oh, oh, oh. This is just an overwhelming closet. But based off of this too, I think you can get a, an idea of what these people look like. Darling, would you like to spend the evening in the ugly green room? Okay, totally a McMansion. This one says, I thought the exterior was bad. And then I looked on the inside. This doesn't look that bad to me so far. Would the house stand out in the neighborhood? Absolutely. But this doesn't look horrible so far. Who picked these colors? <laughs> no! <laughs> no, I would feel like I'm on drugs every time I took a shower. Making memories, baby. Oh, we got the gold bars around the fireplace with the flamingo backsplash. <laughs> Let me explain my thoughts here. If I saw this in an office, I would not think anything of it. I would be like, oh, whatever. Like, yeah, that looks fine. That looks contemporary, right? But this is like clearly a million dollar home. I'm not putting this in my million dollar home. I need a palate cleanser. Give me the pets. Bring on the pets. Give me the cute stuff. <laughs> get it, Shelly, get it. <laughs> I love him. Giving big Stanley energy. My cat's name is Stanley. I woke up this morning, I got out of bed, and I came down the hallway and I saw Stanley. I'm not kidding. This happened this morning at the end of the hallway, but like in between the doorway. So I could only see half of him. And he was just looking at me like this. <laughs> he was ready for me to feed him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I need. Bose takes a quiz segment. Okay, we have two options. The am I depressed quiz or what dog breed matches your personality? All right, question one. What is your activity level? <laughs> Okay, I would say naturally it's pretty low, but lately I've been going, I've been working out a lot, but you know what, my baseline, pretty low. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? Somewhere in the middle. Whenever I tell people that I'm an introvert, they don't believe me. They're like, you talk too much. So uh, I'll say somewhere in the middle. What's your favorite thing to do out of this list? Ooh, travel to new vacation spots. Oh yeah, I'm a traveling dog. Try something you've never done before or do something you already know you enjoy. The second one. Man, this is tough. What's most important to me? Either self-improvement or probably my relationships. But I think the whole reason that I try to improve myself is so that my relationships with people are better. So I'm gonna say your relationships, which describes you the best. I think I'm pretty low maintenance. <laughs> Am I? Would you say you're low maintenance? I think so. Ooh, on the weekend, backyard barbecue, we're working a creative project. It's backyard barbecue. I'm trying to cook and I'm trying to eat. What kind of dog am I? Because I already know I'm depressed. <laughs> a low key basset hound. Really? Like I could be into it, but honestly, if you put any dog in front of me, I'm gonna be happy. But I would not, I was not expecting this. This quiz just told me I was low energy. <laughs> Guys, the inbox has been booming. Or at least it was last time I was in there because I'm not allowed to go in there anymore. I don't want to talk about it. Anyways, I think in the future, we'll start telling you guys what segments are coming up so that you can submit specifically for those. That way you know that you probably will be in the episode. But like I said, the inbox was surging last week and we've got some submissions. This week, the Bose elimination bracket is back. Thanks to Elodie for submitting something. And don't forget, you can submit something for the elimination bracket at the Friday inbox at gmail.com. Yes, the name of the show is changing, but the email is still the same. 30 seconds to choose, two minutes to explain. I have no idea what's on the other side of this. Oh, I see now. 
friendship ending board games. This is pretty funny to me because I'm a big board game night fan. And also I used to like be on a show where we played board games all the time with my friends. I know this category. First up, Uno. Absolutely no contest. That game, friendships over, families destroyed, breakups initiated. Uno might smash through this whole tournament. Jenga or Scrabble? Uh, you know what? I think Jenga gets a little more intense. Not as competitive, but intense. I'm gonna go Jenga. Okay, on this side, we have Aggravation, which I don't think I've played before in Connect 4. I'm gonna pick Connect 4 on this one just because I love Connect 4. It's a fun time. This is good. Seen it or Monopoly? Look, no contest. It's going to be Monopoly. But we are getting down to the wire. Uno versus Jenga. I told you Uno might clean sweep it, but I won't know until I have these side by side. Between Connect Four and Monopoly, I feel like you guys might be agreeing with me through this. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you didn't agree with any of my selections so far. But I feel like we might be unified here, okay? But now, the final two. Friendship ending board games. Uno or Monopoly. I have to think about my gameplay here, okay? I need to think about it. Because I want you guys to know that you're looking at a girl right now that plays Monopoly for fun. On the PlayStation. On the Switch in real life and I am here to win, okay? I play Monopoly so dirty, you may never talk to me again. <laughs> I say this with conviction and I, 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 I don't care. I, you know what? In Uno, it could go either way, but in Monopoly, I win. I don't know what that is. I mean, I just remember during the pandemic, I played a lot of Monopoly and it started off because my friends and I could play Monopoly from a distance through, I think, the Switch, the Nintendo Switch. So it started off with me playing with other people for fun. Like, hee hee, let's FaceTime and play Monopoly. And then it slowly grew into an addiction where I would just queue up Monopoly against three computers and like I'd put them all on hard mode. Don't play Monopoly with me, okay? Save yourself. Save yourself. All right, I've busted out the green screen. I don't know what we're doing yet. I never know. I don't know. This is a concoction from Luca who submitted and my producers. If you don't know what happens in Green Unseen, I just put up my green screen and I don't know where I am until after this video comes out and my editors put me there. My mic is kind of far away, but this is not good. This is the last place that I want to be. I don't know why I'm getting anxiety. <laughs> I'm not in danger. <laughs> if you guys want to submit for the segment Bose versus Artist, send us an email with a link to one of your portfolios. The producers will email you back if you get picked and they'll let you know what you have to draw. Reminder, you need to be able to draw this on your computer, phone, or tablet, screen record it, and send us the video. But for now, instead of Bose versus Artist, it's Bose versus AI. My producers have gone through our bad poetry and our poetry to find bad poetry online and put it up next to AI to see if I can figure out is it bad poetry or bad AI poetry. You can play too. What if you had all of life to be able to see more of things you've never seen, more of the world you never knew was there? What if you could walk across any land whenever you wish and do as you will, wander among the clouds the way the loon flies through them into lands no one's ever seen. It's giving AI, <laughs> it is. Okay, let's try this. Pickle jar. I wanted to pick a pickle to get it out of the jar and eat it. I could not open the jar, no strength to force my will. But then I saw Hollywood movies and I trained. What? I ran five miles, inspiring music. I got punching bags. I used my failure to strengthen my determination. I came back to the pickle and to big success, open sesame. Pickles within my grasp. I reach my strong hands. This was written by a human. That's the human. And also, I like this poem. I hope they get the pickle. I reach my strong hands in, but they become so strong. They do not fit. My new determination is so strong. I push and I push and I get my hands in. I touch the pickles. I love this poem. This is great. But my hand is stuck in the pickle jar. Never to reach my mouth. Pickles. Oh, pickles. I swear, bro, if this 
is written by AI. I'm jumping through the window. It's so good. Oh my God, I'm nervous. Okay. Oh I love the pickle poem. I love the pickle poem. I love the pickle poem. Round two. They have got the money. They have got the money and they are paying us. They are our bosses. They are our paymasters. We are doing, wow. I can't believe my producers came up with a segment where I get to just sit here and unironically do slam poetry. Let's go. We are doing whatever it is that they are paying us to do. Whatever it is that we are doing, that is them. This is a person. This has to be a person. Let's, let's try the other one. It's a con, an actual say, a doing and a being. It's a fair use, a table and a way. It's why, it's you, it's here. It is and it can be. It is and it will be. Okay, Talib, like. Wait, this one's hard. The pickle had a personality punch, okay? I really feel like the, the one on the left is a guy that's thinking so, so, so hard so hard make sure you leave in the comments how many of these you got right i'm gonna say the second one is ai yes yes i'm two for two baby round three there once was a woman named eleanor rigby but not the same one as in the song eleanor rigby you see that was a different eleanor rigby regardless all of her life people would ask eleanor rigby if she was the woman in the song eleanor rigby when they would call her at eight six seven five three oh nine that I Oh, okay. <laughs> Number two, cat potato. In the quiet of the evening, a cat and a potato meet. Their eyes align in wonder in a harmony so sweet. The feline's fur so sleek and soft. The potato skin so smooth. <laughs> Together in their silent dance, they find their unique groove. If th that number two is chat GPT, it has to be. Yeah, oh, deep AI, what is that? <laughs> this one's fun. Perpetually online. Would it glad your cookies to grape turn tooth over a mind ocean jello type? Dude, this was the first iteration of Bard before they shut it down. <laughs> All right, second one. For three years, my fear of confrontation stopped me from leaving. Now, it is stopping me from saying. Brought to you by Wendy's. I'm, I'm, I'm on a hot streak. I can't lose this one. I think the one on the right is AI. I think the one on the right is AI. You vote, you vote too. Also, I am so sorry that I randomly Dora the Explorer, you guys. I'm like, how's it going? <laughs> but you vote. No! Defeated! Okay, last one, last one. I'm, I'm bringing it back here, okay? Roomba. My Roomba's never asked me where I'm going. It's never asked me where I've been. No, it doesn't care if I'm on top of the fridge, on top of the bookshelf, walking down the stairs. My Roomba has no sense of direction. It doesn't ask, are you here? It's always ready to roll, just as eager to start as needs to be finished. Number two, hot banana, very warm fruit, wrapped in yellow, definitely not a flute, can taste strange with mallow, tossed in microwave, very hot now cool eat in the man cave or out in the pool dude i'm gonna go with hot banana as being the real one i think roomba is chat gbt i think roomba is chat gbt yes <laughs> i'm always amazed by people that make themselves the main character i i don't know i just think it's really fascinating i don't have that dog in me i mean look when i'm here in my room by myself Okay, sure, I'll make myself the main character because there ain't nobody else in here. But in a public setting where you don't know anybody, just walking up and deciding that this is your movie, it's just something I still cannot figure out. But I'm always down to watch. Especially, especially if they get humbled by somebody. I gotta see. I've got I've gotta look. I've gotta see it with my own eyes. I don't know why when I say I've gotta see that, I immediately do the pan's labyrinth thing. <laughs> I know, I'm getting old, I'm 26 now, right? But I was recently, what, well, sorry? Oh, oh, are you older than 26? Laughing at that lady is just the perfect response. The way he did it, I would have shut up so fast. From New Jersey. That explains that you're American. <laughs> like this moment, it's about me. <laughs> and then someone tells you to shut up, you're like, that is my right, okay? <laughs> I can say what I got <laughs> I know you're not Southern, but it's funny, right? <laughs> Why did you say no? Oh, right, because I said I'm 26, right. I, I read. <laughs> This is 
somebody that got attention the first time around with negativity and now they want more attention. So they're going to keep using negativity. Also, sorry. I know this is a different show. I just did the thing again. <laughs> I swear. I'll leave that on the main channel. Oh my God. That just gave me another idea. We should do Heckler Shutdown. Okay. It's not the best name in the world, but you know, if you write it in the comments, we will listen to you. This week, we're going to put in the description a big list of all of the segments we've done so far, some that might be upcoming and what we need suggestions for. So check the description and then shoot us an email at the Friday inbox at gmail.com. Oh, also I have a special request too. I really want to do a segment at the top of each video that's just Bose notes. So if you have a little note that you want to send to me, try to be funny. I like funny ones. Send it in a little email, Bose notes, write your note, and maybe I'll get to read it in the next one. That's it. It's over. It's over. Our Friday is coming to a close, but maybe that means your weekend is just beginning. Or, wait a minute, I know some of you guys are watching this on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. All right, it's it's Friday for me, but hey, whenever you get here, we're happy to have you. Leave stuff in the email, leave stuff in the comments, wherever you put it, maybe it'll end up on the next episode. But, friendly reminder, yes. This is technically the last episode of the Friday Inbox. I'm changing the name, we're updating the graphics, we added some new cameras, and I'm just giving her a little makeover, a little, a little something. So next week, I'll see you guys in the Inbox, but I'll be here for Super Cyber Funhouse Friday. <laughs>